All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. It's the long frickin' weekend. Huzzah! Sorry, I'm just adjusting my mic. There we go. Let me kill the music, but yeah, guys. Hello, hello. So, Moon, we have tending, we have been this, well, I mean, we got an ending. I don't know if there's another ending, and we're just gonna find out. Because, I mean, why not? Uh, I'm just gonna wait for my TV to cooperate. There we go. Hi, TV. You acknowledge that there's a game. All right. But yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good Saturday. I my Saturday has involved a lot of sleeping. I did some running around, mostly sleeping. I've been getting a lot of sleep. Not complaining. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> Because I have seen the ending, but there is a second choice. I didn't make that choice. I chose the one option over the other. I'm not really going to say. Um, just in case. Um, but yeah, basically I want to go see if we choose the other option. If we get something else. And then, I mean, we'll switch to something else. I have an idea. I have something in planned. Planned. Words. But I have 100% completed the game. We have done the hundo. The hundos. Um... It was a pain. My least favorite was the rocket and the fishing. Um, there was some. There was other characters that really drove me batty, like trying to get them done, and it really came down to like having that patience and like knowing where they went in regards like schedule. So like. If you had to hang around that person all day, every day, oh my goodness, you're gonna have to do that. Um, I mean, the game did give you, like, hints and whatnot, too, but of course they fell under, like, the vague tier, which is understandable. You don't want to give too much information out on, like, what you're doing game-wise. I mean, yes and no. When you don't have an option, Tiger, and the game is, like, Show me an item, I can help you. I mean, hopefully you'll get the ball rolling. How you doing, tiger? I don't know. It's... See, it's funny, because, um... When I first played this game, the beginning part of it wasn't really, um... Oh my goodness, tiger. Because <laughs> uh, the beginning part of the game, I knew bits and pieces because we played the JP version a while back, but we didn't know what was happening story-wise, why we were going to said place. We just kind of roughly followed that guy, but after that, it was very, very blind and holy crap, man. <clears throat> like, I mean, at least this game gave you hints and advice, and I know I've just, I've brought up Tulip multiple times, but like, Tulip gave you really not a whole lot to work with. They did, but didn't. But yeah, let's hop on the rocket. I know the rocket's gonna take forever because it's a whopping how long of a of adventure. Um, we can do a little more gibbering. Oh, I can do some more gibbering about my thoughts on the game. Because, I mean, we're basically at that point where, like, I'm re I, I feel like I can talk about the game until the ending and see the other choice if if there is a difference or not. And then it's my final thoughts on the game. Um Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm just to hop on there. The game doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Hello, Pop Trucks. Yeah, I did get a less than fulfilling ending. I mean, yeah, it, like, it's weird. Yes and no in regards to fulfilling and not fulfilling. Like, oh, I do like that screenshot. That's, like, I would love a wallpaper of that. Just, yeah. And I, I don't think I want... I don't think I want to talk about the ending till we see the other option and kind of give my opinion on that that the ending. Cause I don't know the ending. No, we'll wait. Cause like, 
really, really sitting and thinking about that ending, it was kind of fulfilling and at the same time not, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, because, I mean, we got this entire rocket ride to go through again. Yay, that's not skippable at all. And I mean, I think I, I think I figured out why. I think this takes your health in account of, like, if you have maxed out health, I think it's trying to deplete it over time. And I can't check, but if it's like Yoshida's, I'm, I wonder if it's the whole, you have to have a lot of health in order to get through this area. And if so, man, that's going to make the speedrun suck. But at the same time, it explains a lot why the task was going for certain hearts and everything like that. If there is, like, an honest, you have to be this level in order to get to the ending part. Um, <clears throat> and it's interesting to bring that up, because, like, Tulip Speedrun, there is no gating. I get, like, level gating in that game. Um, so, like, well, I mean, the... the the glitched version, you just kind of use the out of bounds. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> so I can't see with the glitchless one. But yeah, this game, sorry, I'm, I'm getting, I'm once again bringing up Tulip and I can't help it because, like, I have played Tulip. I love Tulip the Bits. It's an amazing game and I just can't help compare this game and Tulip because, like, there's so many similarities between the two. Um,. Like, this game, like, design-wise, they're very different. I do like the design style, I want to say, of this one more than Tulip because it involves, like, claymation and, like, a lot of other, like, artistic designs are in this game, which is fantastic. And Tulip, I mean, designs are nice, they're neat, but, like, it's just your typical 3D models. There's no, like, uniqueness, like, this game has. Um. <clears throat> but, yeah, this game is great. Like, I really like this game. I'm very happy I finally got experience this game, but oh boy. There were parts that I <laughs> I, I was I I was frustrated about. Like just so much of like not knowing where someone went, how to get this person's love, what you need to do. It was very like you're on your own. And like, I, I mentioned earlier, there were some very frustrating parts with this. Oh, you know, I never checked, oh my goodness, I'm a terrible person, I never checked that arrow, what that arrow does, but I, I mean, we got an ending that I, I don't think, I really don't, you can't really access your inventory with that arrow. I don't think the arrow actually had a purpose. I mean, maybe, maybe it's supposed to, but it just maybe never really like, the game, like, it was supposed to, but it got cut out or something. Because, yeah, I never used the arrow. I, I acquired the arrow. Never used it. <clears throat> so, yeah, it makes me wonder the arrow... Oh, I gotta hit A's. See, it's funny he mentions the automatically to the moon's orbit, because, like, we did that arcade thing, and part of me was wondering if, like, we actually had to control the ship, because it was kind of, like, we have to go on a rocket, and, like, we may have to control it, and it's just kind of, like, telling you you didn't have to do that. Nah. <clears throat> Like, I know this game is definitely labeled as an anti-RPG, and I mean, it kind of makes me wonder if they definitely drove that point home, especially, like, the fact that I 100%ed, like, everything. And, like, I feel bad for the animals, because, like, we got all the animals, I was super happy, and then all of our hard work just kind of, like, you know, it just poofed, and it breaks my heart, because, like, these poor little animals, like... We resurrected them only for them to be destroyed. And I mean, the game, the game foresaw that. Like, 
not going to the moon, but like at the end when the knight is fighting, before he fought the dragon, he fought this conglomerate of like monsters and that, and it was that part. But still. <laughs> <clears throat> Like it, it, it. The game's very like you wanna, you wanna hundred percent this. Okay, we don't like when you hundred percent. It almost feels like 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 the game wants you to complete it, but at the same time, it's gonna remind you that like we don't want you hundred percent this. <laughs> And I may, I may have, these may be my thoughts and they may not be, like, someone else's thoughts, but it's just kind of how I feel when, like, seeing the ending. And, yeah, it's just my thoughts. So yeah, I'm not reading the dialogue. We we read this already. I'm just very surprised how long this segment is. Sure, yeah, I'll definitely wait. We could definitely discuss the endings. <clears throat> like I I like this this is this part like how long it is like it. I know it's the whole showing the adventure and showing the journey, but like. I, I, I would have liked some interactivity, like, I feel like it's like Xenogears, Dis 2, shenanigans, um... Because yeah, I feel like they may, they may have wanted to do more with this section, but they couldn't, or they didn't have time to. Like I almost, I'm really curious how long this sec this segment takes. Like it feels like it's it, it's in like the five minute range. <clears throat> yeah, like it definitely feels like some parts this some parts of this game is complete, but some parts are not complete. Like I, I guess it like. Everything up to when you go to the rocket feels very complete, and then from here onwards, I feel like they wanted to do more. Like it, like, like it, it definitely feels like this, like this ending, like this part. They like they're there's missing a lot of things. Yeah, the meteor part. Yeah, it definitely felt like they wanted you to do that part. I, I see. I would have been. I would love that to like have sort of some something. Like, and I'm almost curious of, like, if it is intentional that, like, they wanted this to be, like, a long scene or if it wasn't their intention. Because <clears throat> I think out of the entire game, like, this is, like, besides, okay, I've already mentioned my least favorite part, which was fishing in the arcade cabinet, but, like... I feel like this part is my least favorite. At least with like Yoshida's part, there was a lot of like humor, there's a lot of things happening. And I mean, this part compared to Yoshida's, it's it's very like and it's, it I guess empty is the word that's coming to mind, but it makes sense cuz we're in space. Space is supposed to be empty and isolated and that, but like there's just not a lot happening. <laughs> I say this and you know, Florence is giving this in-depth talk to us about life. <clears throat> I don't want- I wouldn't mind bringing up Florence, cause like... He's kind of the exception to what I want to bring up. Um... 
but at the same time, I don't know if he is an exception. I mean, we could talk about it because it doesn't. I don't know if it affects the choice. Well, no, ah, I don't know. We'll wait. Oh no, a little battery. Parker's actually cooperating. Oh, you wanted to be picked up for oh, pet the kitty. Oh. Claymation in this. Hopefully, you guys can hear Parker purring. Yeah, it was the hero, and it makes me wonder how he got onto the ship. But at the same time, I mean, I don't know. Well, he was in that area before because he killed all those monsters, so he must have known that like, there was a, the. The state, the rocket, just wasn't in function. Yeah, but I mean, clay, like claymation is. Oh, Neverhood! I, the music in Neverhood. I wouldn't mind playing that again because it was really fun, but hard. <laughs> <clears throat> like, oh man, this part I was so happy to see with all the animals because like the animals are cute. I mean, they're weird, but cute in a way. Like, and just seeing all your hard work. <laughs> but I mean, I know the reason why they're here now. It's funny he says he guides me to the door and he just disappears. <laughs> Although their castle reminds me, uh, I want to say a dragon fruit. <clears throat> like the design kind of screams a dragon fruit, and I may be wrong, but that's just the sides of the castle and the spikes. It makes it kind of seem they modeled it after the, the dragon fruit, which would make it would, would be funny because dragon castle, dragon fruit. <clears throat> Oh, my God. 
no way of like entering a menu here. Or to use any items. Yeah, you can't even like open up the inventory here to use like any items. So yeah, this game made sure like you couldn't really open your inventory to do anything or use any item here. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, this part is super straightforward. Yeah, Yoshida, which breaks my heart. Like, Yoshida kind of takes a hit. Like, this part's. Ah! <clears throat> This part, it, the whole Yoshida like getting killed annoyed like really. I mean, it's supposed to because like Yoshida is like a great character, a good character. Stop 
playing that game and go to bed. Poor mom. Tommy has to go to bed. We don't want to go to bed. <clears throat> so yeah, this is when we get the choice of doing A or B. And I picked the call to before continue. We're gonna say no. So I'm curious if, the, if there is anything else or if this is it. Okay, yeah, there's way more. Yeah, that's a much better ending. <laughs> that is a way better ending. Oh, here's everybody's fifth song. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't even get this part at the end. It was just end with the TV, which makes sense. Oh my goodness, they're in the park! Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, the door opening. Yeah, I, I, I like definitely realized that, but like... Oh my goodness, the UFO's crashing! Oh no! <gasps> oh no, the baker's working in a bakery! Don't eat the bread! Don't eat the fresh bread! <laughs> Don't! <laughs> That's a good, that's a good photo. It's easy. <laughs> oh my goodness, I got hiccups. Oh, I like that photo. slime on the top of the building's cute. <clears throat> Time to throw him in the ocean.
Oh no, a low battery. Mmm, takoyaki. <clears throat> yeah, oh, that's adorable, Miss Yoshida. Yeah, I definitely like this ending. Are in the real world, but more. I think it's like the ending kind of screams like they are. They are in the real world, but through like I don't know how to explain it. That's that's a great photo. Like I guess it's the whole like it could be possibly like the whole like the player showing their like discussing about the game that it makes them in the w real world. I think that's what I'm trying like trying to express. <clears throat> Oh, that's not creepy at all. I don't. Uh, nope. That's that's not creepy at all. Oh, there's a chair. I see the chair is a little icon. That's cute. Interesting. Yay! So, the whole move being cancelled makes me wonder if, like, our character got, like, an early copy of it. So my thoughts on the game, okay, my my original thoughts with the one ending, I mean, it was not a great ending, I didn't like it, it kind of was like, kind of implied like they could never escape their destiny, because like, you would play, everyone got murdered, you got murdered, and then like, the game would reset, and they would start from the beginning, and like, whoever played it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, they would just repeat everything and just continue. Um, no, there's nothing else that's popping up. It's just saying thanks for playing. We're just kind of stuck on there. Just chilling. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, like, with that ending, but at the same time, the ending implied a lot of, like, you know, open the door. It kind of like the whole go out in life, do stuff. Like, the, like, there's a lot of meaning with what they're saying for the ending, and then like this ending, you your prophecy comes true. You free the people. They remember that connection between or like with the moon people and that, and they kind of pop up in the real world, which is adorable. I like that. Um, but like there's there's very subtle like con like more a context in this game of of many things, it's similar to Chulip in regards to like. 
Um, oh, there's extra text. Oh, interesting. Um, actually, while I'm talking about the game, let's see if we can find out about that arrow, just for curiosity's sake. Because, I mean, the arrow. <laughs> I, I, like, I really like this game, and it's, it's, it definitely has, like, it's, um, underlying meanings with a lot of, like, things discussed in the game. Um, can be frustrating. It definitely can be frustrating, but, like, I'm very happy I finally got to experience Moon. Um, Okay, so he's just gonna basically make it whatever. He he goes to the bar on like Coins Day or Croissant Day, <clears throat> Crest Day. But yeah, I like that. I I like the opening the door ending way better than the continue one because like the continue was just so empty. But at the same time, like you you still had some form of meaning with that ending of like you don't want to continue, like you don't want to like I don't know how to explain it. Actually, I'm better off sleeping in Granny's bed, to be honest. Or Gramby's. I guess the- I guess like what I'm trying to say is like, the, the game is kind of mentioning like, opening the door, kind of like you continuing your life. Your life has not been written. Stuff like that. But then we chose not to open the door to continue our life to see what happens. And advancing our life, we just sat in front of the TV and played the game again. <laughs> Like it, yeah, it's kind of that ending. Um, with the con when you say continue. Um, I I just like I, hmm, I I keep wanting to bring up tulip, and I keep wanting to bring up tulip. I feel like tulip's message was much stronger compared to this game. And I mean, I, my own opinion, but like, I love this game. I feel like Tulip was, I, I had more feels with Tulip compared to this game. And a lot of the characters in this game, I do. Um, but yeah. And like, I feel like the, there is, there was supposed to be more to this game. Like, way more to this game. But I feel like they just maybe didn't have time to, to complete it. They just they had to scrap a lot of things due to kind of time constraints or money constraints. But like, I definitely feel like this more. But like, I really like the design of this game. I really, really like the character design. Story. I mean, once you figure out what you're doing in the story, the story is good. Um, I I think that's one problem with this game is like. You have like you definitely have to explore. The game rewards you for exploring. But man, oh man. Like trying like trying to figure out certain things, like the story more so of like why we're here, the moon, the gate and everything. Like if you didn't know you had to go talk to Yoshida, attend night classes, get that kind of like explanation. You would like you you would definitely be stuck. <clears throat> Like, I imagine you could- you could beat the game without going to school with Yoshida. And, like, not really knowing why it was so important to open the door. And, like, the game definitely awards you for that, for going to, like, um... Rewards you for finding Yoshida, finding out, and, like, knowing their routines. Like, the game definitely rewards you because the game gives you more, um, story and under like, understanding of, like, what's at risk or what- why it's so important to open that door. Um. Uh, you thought the- uh, unused ending. Okay. That makes sense, because, yeah, I- like, I really- okay, I do the arrow- arrow in my inventory. Yeah, I really don't feel like- I, like- it is the ending definitely felt like there could have been more, but I mean, <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Like I, this arrow, I this arrow, I don't think. I mean, we'll find out what the knight says, 
But like this arrow, I feel like had a huge importance because like it mentioned in the in the counselor's notes that like there was this arrow. Granted, we went with the king's like plot with the fireworks and everything, but like. The arrow seemed very important. I mean, maybe it did in regards to, like, the hero Pasma's story, where, like, going to the castle and all that, because he was very gun-ho about his plot, and the hero, like, actually being, like, um, no, I don't think there is, I don't think there's completion. Um, if it's, I don't think there is, like, a 100% completion, you get something else. Um, <clears throat> I think just what we're seeing is what we're getting, basically. Um, and I mean, Tulip was kind of the same. Um, like, you 100% everything, but, like, there wasn't really, like, you didn't really have to, but, I mean, it was the fact that, like, you got to see these other characters, and you got to experience their story, um, what's happened to them, their ending, get a kiss. Um... And I really hate that I'm comparing the two love because the other game I've played in Love to Link and it's the one I'm going to keep bringing up because I haven't played the other ones. <laughs> um, so I do apologize if I just keep bringing Tulip up like crazy. It's like I said, it's the only other one I've played in there in the games or in the series. We'll call it series. Um, I mean, it's funny because like there, there's so like I, I mentioned while I was playing this game, there's so many similarities with Tulip and this game. The your cards, the tr the RNG for the freaking refrigerator, um, the the um, the underground residents with their like randomness as well. Um, like I've, I this this game definitely feels like a template. Like, they, they got this this game, which is very, like, 1.0, and then, like, their other games have been, like, a, an upgrade of Moon in some way. Um, granted, I can't, I really can't really, like, say that fully, because, like I said, I haven't played, um, Gif, Gif, T, Gipia, which, I mean, I'll only be able to watch it on YouTube, because they, there's no English patch to it. Um... The Dreamcast one, I know there is a translation for it, and I mean, we could definitely play it. But, I mean, I I also have to work on some speedrun stuff. Alright, you! Apparently I'm supposed to show you the arrow. Hero, hero, where is our hero? We. You know, I feel sorry for him. Swinging that sword around, chasing the imaginary dragon. It's been an age since he left that town. Do you know about the hero's armor? That cursed armor. It's been at the castle for ages. Whoever wears that armor has their heart stolen by the fury of bat. Oh. The hard iron of that breastplate seals away the human heart. In that state, he'll be selling forth onto battle until a until adventure until he drops dead of old age. Imagine that, clad in an immovable metal suit. That's a wicked fate, friend. <clears throat> we. Pasma, our hero. What's he up to right about now? In what wicked wilderness does he wander? We. Yep. Ah, okay. Hmm, the heck is that? Okay. Interesting. So I wonder if you were supposed to use the arrow, because I thought that was one thing that came to mind when um, the hero showed up was like, and that comment YouTube was like, maybe we're supposed to use the arrow on the hero to give him his heart, his like, for him to fall in love with like the dragon and the moon um, kind of thing, and then he wouldn't kill them and that would be that ending, but... I, I guess not. Yeah, that that is sad. And I, I guess you don't... Like, I guess that item is just to explain the hero. Actually, I wonder... I have the bromide of him. A bromide. Um, can I show that to... Um, him. I'm curious. <clears throat> Back in the 
hero here was a hero. We, you know, if you start. Okay, it's the same thing. So either the arrow or the bromide. Okay, so what if I show it to you? I hear he's on his way to kill the bad dragon that ate the moon. This sure is a nice picture. Hey, you want a picture of me too? Hi, hi, winds. I mean, yes and no. I've kind of expressed our thoughts. We did see the best, the good ending. Um, the good ending was much better. Much better. Um, although it's funny, because, like, I was going to bring up Florence in regards to, like, the bad ending, because, like, the game, the bad ending implies that, like, it's a never-ending, um, never-ending loop for the, for the care, like, the residents in, um, I forget what this place is called. Um, and the moon. Like, it's a, it's a constant loop. Like, they're gonna, when you start the game up, they're gonna forget everything. You gotta, you know, do everything again. Don't open that door. They're just gonna forget everything. And it's just the constant repeating of the same thing over and over again. With the exception of Florence, because he's the one that kind of broke out of that, like, constant loop. So he's, he's not, he remembers and, like, I don't think, I think if you, like, start, like, if you didn't open the door and you start the game up from the from new game, he would be the one that, like, I would, I would imagine he would remember, like, I, I guess, like, if there was kind of like that, um, I heard Undertale has that mechanic where, like, when you start a game up, like, you beat the game and you start a new game, they actually remember your previous actions. And I almost feel like Florence would be that exception of, like, you beat this game, but you don't open the door. You go back to new game, and like you talk to Florence, and he'll be that one that remembers, like, you didn't open the door last time. Why didn't you open the door? Like, I can't believe you did that. And I feel like, like, I, I would definitely feel like Florence would be that character who would be like, you are opening this door ne this time. Like, no its or buts. Like, <clears throat> well, like, these other characters, they would not remember anything you've done for them. Um, like, I'd be very curious if they ever made, like, a, one that's a sequel, I wouldn't say a sequel to this, but another, like, an, another moon, like a re, like a, I wouldn't, I don't want to say like a remake of a, like, maybe, I guess a remake of someone I'm, I'm going for. I'd be very curious if they made something again moon or something similar where, like, they could pull that concept of, like, if you didn't do this and you start a new game, would they remember your actions? Like very, very I guess Undertale like, but applying to like actual moon like act like I, words. Ah, <laughs> uh. cause yeah, I'd be super curious. Like I would love to see them like. I guess I guess you want to call it, like Moon Enhanced Fancy Special Edition HD or what? I don't know what to say. Because, like, nowadays you got companies that, re like, re-release games with, like, additional features or, like, missing content and stuff like that. And I feel like maybe that, but I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. I, yeah, definitely have how much this game catches on. That's for sure. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, because they haven't made... I don't know if they made anything since, because I think... I want to say, don't quote me 100%, but I feel like Tulip was the last very similar game to, like, this. Unless it was the one in the Dreamcast that was the last one. But yeah, like, I haven't really seen. But I would, like, yeah, I'm really hoping this game, this is why, like, I drove this game, like, crazy. Because I want to see this game do well that um uh word sorry I'm texting a friend um it was me all along the gasp um 
yeah, but the reason why I'm driving this game so hard is because, like, I want to see their other games released in North America. Like, I want to see, um, like, their games on the Switch. All translated. I would love to see that. And I mean, that's... I, <clears throat> Chibi Robot's kind of like this. Have you have you played Tulip Pop Pop Talks? Cause like I once again I'm gonna bring it up again. i mo like Tulip is so similar, but I feel like the messages in Tulip are more. Um, and I, I brought it up already. Like again, uh, the hero was Possuma. There was two possumas in the game. There was the hero possuma, and then there was the invisible boy possuma. Basically. You haven't played Tulip, okay. Um, cause like, Tulip, like, it's so, like, there's so many things that I see in this game that I see in Tulip. And like, Tulip has a lot of points that hit, I wanna say hit hard, but like, there's a character, like, one character that possumines but Tanya. He's a musician who's poor, but he wants a job. So you get him a job. He's he's got a job, but he ha he can't work on his hobby anymore, and he he really wants to work on his music, but he can't because work tires him out. But he's got to work to make the money, and like, oh, there's so much with like there's so many other things with Tulip, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sorry, I keep bringing up Tulip, and I, I really, I really, really, really apologize. Um, yeah, like, like with Goro, um, oh my goodness, Goro and his wife, that, like, uh, that, that's such a messy story. Um, and then, like, um, oh shoot, what's her name? Mika, oh my goodness, Mika. Mika, I think I want, like, I, there was a lot of motion with Mika. Um. But. I don't know what else to say. Um, I mean. If we're giving this game, like, a dad out of ten system, I think I would give it eight out of ten. I feel like eight out of ten is a nice number for it. The only reason, like, it's. I, like, yeah, I feel like eight out of ten is kind of a nice number. I think the, the points of like, I think the vagueness kind of, kind of knocked that score down a bit. But I mean like design wise and like, like if I was going to mention like the design of the game, solid. Like I love Claymation, I love that they incorporated it in the game, the music is amazing. Like we've had some really good scores and we've had some really unique ones. Um, Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like, I, I, yeah, I think 8 out of 10 is very solid. I, if, like, if you're a diehard Love to Link fan, absolutely buy it now. Um, yeah, the waiting is problematic. And, yeah, I, I never mentioned that. Like, there's no way of, like, advancing the time. Yes, you can sleep, but, like, you have to wait. We're like, and I, I'm bringing up again, and I'm terrible for it. Tulip, you had comics. That you could go sit on the bench and you could use a three, a six, or a nine hour comic to wait. And like, and actually speaking of a pop, pop talks, if, if you, I do have all my tulip VODs still up. I don't, I would recommend playing it though, personally. It's on the PlayStation 3 for like 20 bucks. Um, <clears throat> but like, yeah, the waiting, the waiting is problematic in this game. Um, that and like the R and the fishing and the Rocky game and like some of the vagueness in the game. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm like, I'm really happy I played it. I don't really think this would be a good speed run, to be honest. I'll watch the tasks, but like, I really don't feel like this is a great um, speed run unless someone can find glitches that can like break the game um personally i mean i'd have to look into it like i said but i it's very like to the point go a to go b go c and i don't know if that's very entertaining i guess 
Um, anywho, I do have to thank you guys um, for watching this and watching my adventures with this lovely game. Oh, there goes Baker. Oh, Baker has had a little too much to drink. His bread's gonna be very, um, is gonna have a little hint of beer in it this time around, guys. Be careful. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a little alcoholic tasting. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy I got to play this. I'm very happy that I got to enjoy this. Al although, goddammit, release physical copies of Moon, because I will buy a Switch copy of this again to have a physical. So...